Sassy Sense here with another uh, first impression. Uh, we have CR Sense here. Thank you for joining me. Thanks again. for having me, man. Yeah, appreciate no it. No problem. Yeah, we just had uh, wings and, and salads and uh, napkin shirts or bib, <laughs> napkin bib, bibs. Yeah, bro. napkin bibs um, here at uh, Applebee's. So uh, yeah, so so we're here. We're trying out uh, some new Wilhelms, or new to me anyway. I haven't tried these at all. I just ordered a bunch because uh, Connor, you know, he really turned me on to just the, the Turn line. you on, bro? Yeah, you turned me on. Really? Bit. Yeah. Is it my pheromones or what? <laughs> it's your Orlando hat, bro. <laughs> I think I got it in Orlando, too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, but, but, but he uh, he had showed me purple fig. He showed me uh, deer poly and mango was it poets. Skin. Yeah, poets. Ma mango skin and poets. Poets, poets in Berlin. Berlin. Yeah, all of those were like at first. I wasn't totally sold on them. Deer poly was the, one, the first one that really was like, yo, I'm sleeping on this fucking. Bread. Yeah, man. So I bought that. And then, and then I just started uh, just remembering other shit, and I got a sample for Poets uh, from uh, Mark Roshula. Uh, shout out to Mark Roshula. Uh, Roshi Frags, right? And, um, What's up, Mark? What up, Mark? And, uh, but then, uh, like, whatever, I, I, I started remembering what Mango Skin was like, and, and, and Poets just brought back all those memories. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I... I want to own more of these fuckers, right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So then, you know, we decided, uh, or I decided, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just gonna fucking start buying. I'm gonna start building my collection of Wilhelm because it, they're just really good. They're really unique. They really don't smell like a lot of other shit out there. So, where'd you buy these samples? At? Yeah. Oh yeah. So these, uh, what? Well, I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, no worries. I, I didn't buy these samples, obviously. Uh, this this was a. Uh, they were given to me graciously by uh, Mr. C.R. Sons. You can tell, you know, they're not full or anything like that. They, they were actual samples so I could try these out. Because we were talking about these. Because I was I was consulting, you know, with him. I was like, what should I get, bro? So being able to sample these so that you're ready to jump in so you're not blind buying these, I think is a huge plus. But, um, but yeah, so you can go to crsense.com, is it? Yep, crsense.com. Okay. You, you didn't get the dot net, right? No. no the dot I'm not that cheap, bro. Info. I'm dot, not that cheap. Fucking crsense.org. No, it's, it's not government, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, fucking CIA. <laughs> crsense.section8. No, no, uh, yeah, so crsense.com. Uh, I'll, I'll post the link in the description uh, or right here in front of his face. Or like right there, yeah. And, um, or maybe you can use, I can, I can use black text. <laughs> And I'll just put it on my bicep. That'd be sick, dude. Can yeah. You do that? I, I'm actually Let's doing it. I'm like, right now, right it's actually right there. And you got to click it. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's going to turn into a dick for a second. <laughs> and now it's going to go back to serious. <laughs> so okay. you, man. <laughs> All right. But, uh, yeah. So, so you know, this is what they look like here. You want to show them so, up? So, um. So at CRSense.com, that's my website. I sell uh, premium niche fragrance samples and decants. I also sell full retail bottles. But um, my whole thing is I like to focus on the presentation of the decant because right. I feel like, you know, if you get a decant, why do you want something boring? Why do you want like a boring label or a, an ugly decant? I feel like if you're not going to have the actual bottle, mm -hmm. you might as well at least make your decant look nice. You know, at least right. have some satisfaction of looking at a very beautiful decant. Correct. That's my whole ideology behind it. So my whole thing is custom labels. I focus on custom labels and for each label I take about maybe 30 minutes so I really I you know I spent a lot of hard um, hard thought time into these and I don't know I just like making them look fancy you know they're all waterproof <laughs> waterproof, waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're waterproof like this. yeah 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 <laughs> I don't know so what I'm trying to say is I um if you check out my website yeah check out crstance.com if you guys want to check out um any you want to sample some niche before you buy. Like I said, I also have full bottles on there too, but um, I, I'd greatly appreciate it if you did give me a visit and check me out. Yeah, just check it out. I mean, he's been a, a regular in the groups for years now. And uh, if there's one thing that, that I think Connor excels in is really just making unique, nice fucking labels. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's never sent me anything that dripped or leaked or anything like that. So, 
you know, I always appreciated his decants. Um, and like I said, they're always, you know, wrapped correctly, sealed correctly. Labels are always spot on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the value is also there too. I mean, he, he fucking yeah. he knocks it out of the park. So please Thank go you. check him out. Thank you. Yeah, please. I mean, if, you know, I've been, <clears throat> I've been buying and, uh, you know, just getting decants from him and splits and, and just purchasing them uh, all the time. And then on top of that, his selection is also, again, I, I told you that these are fucking hard to find sometimes. So when uh, one of the ones that we were talking about was Oud Affair, yeah. right? So I wanted to start with that one. That was the one I'm most excited about. Yeah. Because uh, he was, how did he describe it to me? So this kind of has uh, the Oud Affair by Bilhan Perfumery. It kind of has, um, it has honey, it has tobacco, and it also obviously has Oud, right. which is going to like ground it down. But um, it's pretty much like a dirty honey scent. Dirty so we'll like picture you're a fucking bee you just got <laughs> pollinated and shit you're you're running back to your hive and then you fucking roll in dirt that's <laughs> amazing yeah man <laughs> i can smell from here it's you know a, what it's a honey bomb isn't it yes it, it reminds me it's like a cross between a tobacco vanille okay okay there's some tobacco vanille there's okay uh, i do get that now yeah, so somewhere between, it, it actually has the same, I, I don't know if I can call it animalic, but. It has a little, yeah, it yeah, does. It, it is, An animalic right? twist and dirtiness to it. Yeah, so there, there's a dirtiness, uh, it, it actually reminds me a lot of tobacco, but except that this is, it's so much richer, more real, yeah. like, like. Tobacco Vinny feels kind of synthetic as shit. Yeah, like Truthfully, air freshener. Yeah, it, it just, it, it is, it's it's really heavy and <clears throat> thick and syrupy, but in the way that fucking Hershey's is chocolatey, right? <laughs> but then when you go and you have like a, a Ghirardelli or some other like fine chocolate, and you're like, damn, this is fucking chocolate. This is pod racing, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Fucking like, Gertrude Hawk in this Yeah, bitch, fuck yeah. <laughs> so, no, this shit smells really fucking good. You know what? And I didn't expect it to smell this way either. Awesome. Yeah. So you're really, it, 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 it exceeded it's, it's your expectations. It's following the trend. It's following the trend of Wilhelm, where it's like purple fig smells like fucking actual figs. Right. Dear Polly smells like fucking real tea. Very realistic notes. Very realistic. Yeah. Mango skin. That that's why I bought it because I, I started thinking about it. I was like, fuck, I miss that fragrance. So that's why I wanted to own it. But you know what's funny? Yeah. I never got tobacco vanilla until you said it. Really? Now that you said it, I instantly get it. Yeah, but to this, me, this, this is like ultra niche. This is like it is, it is ultra. Yeah, that's like yeah. next level tobacco vanilla. Like, like I think I, I feel like I'm doing a little bit of a disservice by comparing it to tobacco vanilla, but it does have the vibe, but without the syntheticness. Like you can actually pick out. Would you say the tobacco? Right. right? Would you say tobacco vanilla with some honey? Yeah, it's, it's like honey tobacco vanilla. Exactly. Uh, but, and, and also the vanilla is a little more, it, it's downplayed a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. And just replace, or, or, you know, basically replace the yeah, vanilla with honey. With, with honey. That's, yeah. Uh, that's actually more spot. Tobacco honey. <laughs> tobacco. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know. Do <laughs> tobacco honey. Yeah. Tobacco. Oh, honey. Honey? <laughs> no, I don't know about that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> But no, that, that's crazy because I've, I've never gotten that until you said it. And then as soon as you said it, I was like, oh shit. It does yeah. smell like, that does smell yeah. like a, yeah, it does. It's tobacco honey. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, literally. Literally is that. But um, I would say even a uh, step up in quality. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, again, it, it just, it has, you can really pick out the tobacco in this. And that was the thing that I never, I never got that from tobacco vanilla. Right, uh, right. It, it felt just really dirty, like but poopery. dirty synthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As that, man, that's, it's not that tobacco vanilla is bad, but... I love tobacco vanilla. Yeah, tobacco vanilla is actually really good, uh, but this is in that vibe, but if you wanted to step up your niche game on it, I, whatever, I'm I, impressed with it. I, I think awesome. this is fucking awesome. Uh, now this is definitely on my to-buy list. Would you be picking up some more decants with that, or even a full oh, bottle? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, no, fuck the guy. I want a full bottle of this yeah. shit. This is for sure bottle worthy for me. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick which out which yeah. one you wear. I'm I'm not gonna tell you. Just spray it, okay? We're okay. gonna we're gonna see. All right, just then, a blind. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's not gonna know what it is. So like I said, he's never smelled these. This is 100 true first yeah, impression. Yeah, total first impression there. 
Oh, damn, man. Beast sprayer, mm. huh? Ooh, I smell it already, dude. Damn. I'm holding my breath and I can smell it. God damn. <laughs> now that. <laughs> How do you like that one? This actually smells pretty fucking good. <laughs> but. But. Okay, so. Is this a salty one? Yes. Okay, yeah. I smell salt for sure. Mm-hmm. I personally am not a huge fan of uh, salty aquatic fragrances at all, but the thing is that, again, the notes are very fucking realistic. Yeah. And very photo, photorealistic. Very photorealistic. In your yes. face, like, mm -hmm. paints a picture in your head when you smell it. Yeah. <laughs> For me, at least. Damn, which one is this one? So, what you're smelling is called Dirty Velvet. So you can kind of, the dirtiness kind of comes from, I guess it's kind of like a dirty saltiness kind of in a way. Uh, I forgot what notes are in here. I think there's, I, think, I want to say there's fig. I there's say, definitely Israeli salt. <laughs> some kind of salt. <laughs> there's, sure. a, there's some Israeli, we, we were just at the mall today and uh, we were getting these fucking. Uh, I got scammed pretty much. Yeah, he, he got scammed uh, by like some fucking gypsy or some shit. But, <laughs> uh, but then I went to the, the thing because I, you know, I, I had to. I had to like, you know, get my boys back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went there and, and I was just being a stubborn asshole. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll give you like 20 bucks for this shit. And they were like, but the least we could do is like $60. I was like, I don't know, man. I mean, this is 20 bucks. This is like all I have. <laughs> so obviously I didn't get to buy anything, but they did. They gave me like a hand treatment. And uh, there is a salt that they use, yeah. Dead Sea Salt. <laughs> and I'm not even fucking joking. It's like it's like there is an actual realistic salt in there, but there's florals and shit in here too. I'm gonna right? look up the notes while we're on the while we're on the video. Yeah. So it's it's called dirty velvet. It's I guess the dirtiness comes from like I said the salt, but it's very um, to my nose it's very salty. It's very um, I don't know. It's uh, like I said I have to look up the notes to see actually what's it, given it, it that it, smell. It, it smells like sand. It does smell like sand, kind of. Like, like a wet sand. That is so unique, though. That's the thing. It, it, you know what? Um, and this is not to... That's right. Go ahead. It's not to shit on it. And, you know, we'll put up the Fabrand here. That's and stuff, too. But, but this reminds me a lot of those Epsom salt uh, yeah, type yeah, washes. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Like, picture like... It's um, like niche Epsom salt. <laughs> yeah, like... Like, I'm, we're not talking about table salt, sitting chloride. Picture like, yeah. like the like the um, what do you call it? Crystallized Epsom salt. Yeah. You know, like that. Like, like the premium one that you would like take a bath in. Right, and, right, 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 right. Thing, but like, but there's more to it than just that. Obviously, it's oh, not yeah. gonna smell like a fucking French fry or so. Right. Really. Yeah, it doesn't smell like a bath bomb. So, <laughs> so the notes are actually you're gonna be surprised because you were saying it's unique. Mm -hmm. These notes, you would be like, what the fuck does not go together? Right. The top notes are pomelo. Middle notes are fig and tobacco. Fig. So fig and tobacco. Yeah. Um, hold on, I just lost my shit. Fig and tobacco, and um, the base notes are salt, vetiver, and sandalwood. Okay, so biggest <clears throat> notes that stand out: salt, vetiver, and um, fig. Fig, yeah. Because those it has, three it has a little fruitiness to it, just a little bit. You know, now now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, smell? fig is really starting to stand out to me. Yeah, I'm almost like a fucking French fry. You just want to lick it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know this is this is. Uh, have you tried the Corner Barcelona, the the three that they had, the Bobo, the and Blue Line, or whatever? Fig Man. I, I haven't tried yeah. those. What does this smell like? Fig Man. Reminds me of Fig Man. Okay. Now that I but, but but the problem with Fig Man is that it, it, it it's like. It doesn't last very long, and, it, and it's kind of lacking a little bit of depth. It mm -hmm. has like a little bit of a spiciness to it. Mm -hmm. But now, the, as soon as you mentioned fig, I was like, "Fuck, that's what that is." That, yeah, that's, that's that. As soon as you hear it, you pick it out, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and tobacco, I was like, I can kind of maybe a little bit, but but it, it's hard. It, it's like tobacco is definitely not one of the first as you would think of. No, 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 no. But salt, vetiver, and fig make perfect sense and i feel yeah. like it's that combination it's giving it kind of like a grassy like there was a green quality yeah when i got it which is what i get from fig man that comes from the fig leaf that's it. right it's not necessarily like an ocean salty fragrance 
it's fresh it's salty it's a little abrasive mm -hmm. like i like i said you know the notes like how the fuck do you mix tobacco and salt like who even thinks about that yeah but it just works in a way it works and it's it comes off very unique um it has great performance oh fresh by uh gallagher fragrances yeah the way that he uses tobacco in that yeah. is very similar to the way that it's used in here. Okay. So, so that is a, I mean, this is actually pretty fucking unique though. I mean, is. even though we, I'm drawing a few comparisons here, uh, it, it, I don't think there's anything else that smells like this that I can, that I've smelled recently. Mm -hmm. And it's striking. Again, very photorealistic. But more, the most important thing for me <clears throat> is how much better it gets as it's starting to dry down. Yeah. The notes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's getting, way, it, it really smoothens out. Okay. So the abrasiveness is going away and it's like, wow, this actually smells really fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you first spray it on, it's really grainy, it's really salty, it's um, it's almost like scratchy, right? Like, like, yeah. Like a, like it's a, a little coying. It can be a little yeah, coying. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But I'm also assuming that uh, I'm chalking that up to the fact that I'm smelling it right up close. Mm -hmm. I could see this in, in the air being pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I actually like this. I, I went from like being not so sure about it to like... Warmed up to it a bit. Yeah. I, yeah. I would probably pick up a decant of this. Awesome. From uh, CRSense.com, which is going to be right here in my hands. <laughs> uh, okay. We're, okay. So we have, have one more. Um, and by the way, if you guys sound interested in any of these, I do carry most of the line Wilhelm on my website. I'm going to say I have about, there's probably about 16 different ones and I carry probably about 14 of them. So I carry oh, most no of the shit. line, all the bangers, all the pop hero ones. If you want to sample them, come check it out. All right. So this is the last one. This, this is smoke show. Yeah. 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 Bro, yeah. This is the one that I keep like looking at and I, and I can't bring myself. I was almost going to just pull the trigger and blind buy it. Yeah. But I was like, I just, I can't imagine what it is going to, what it's going to be like. So I'm very excited to try this. All right, so. so right on the here. pit here. Yeah. So this is called Smoke Show. Here we go. I haven't smelled this in a while. I, for, I kind of forgot what it smells like. So it's going to be like a first impression for me too. Hold my hand. <laughs> oh right. shit, I smell already. Yeah, I like to just Damn. do this, hold my breath a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to get whatever. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> that is some fucking good shit. <laughs> yeah, God man. Damn. I <laughs> immediately <laughs> regret not fucking buying buying this. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And you notice how they all kind of have that DNA, that Wilhelm DNA in the background? Yes. That like fresh DNA, that fresh Wilhelm DNA kind of? Yes. They all kind of have that, right? Yeah, like, like this. Yeah, probably the this is probably the closest one that has you know I've been wearing actually a lot of Dear Polly so yeah. this reminds me of that like I can like the DNA is very clear there right um, but fuck this smells what the fuck are the notes on this okay so Smoke Show has it has pink peppercorn saffron I get the saffron Middle notes are rose oil and leather. Rose oil and leather right away. Yes, I can totally. Base notes are vetiver, cedarwood, and, and uh, oud. Okay, now the vetiver is coming through. Right. To me, as soon as you said it, I was like, oh, okay. See, for me, I get a, I get a lot of, um, I get the pink peppercorn up top. I get that kind of, uh, whatever you want to call it, that spiciness. Um, I definitely get vetiver, I get leather, and I get oud. Dude, the, the, the like combo it? of like the leather and it's the It's unique road shit, isn't it? It's so fucking good, bro. Yeah, man. That smells so good. It blows my mind how nobody talks about this house. Like, yeah. nobody talks. They have so many bangers. I've what seen one person talk about it. That was Carlos, mm -hmm. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Yeah. He was talking shout about. Shout out to BFL. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, shout out to BFL. He was talking about uh, Poets of Buran and um, one other Which, one. Which, by, by the way, Poets of Buran is a fucking masterpiece. But fucking fire. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is a buy for me, bro. Yeah. This is like 100 fucking percent. I will buy Smoke Show. That oh, smells so good. Imagine that in the good. winter with like a nice jacket on. Damn. Yeah, bro. like in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yes, yeah. because I'm going to fucking buy this shit. <laughs> yeah, man, it's good. Huh? By the way, uh, coming back to this one, 
<laughs> the honey, it, it's like an overtaste. It. It's just straight honey and tobacco. It smells oh, so Oh, yeah. You, you know what it reminds me of? The first one, it reminds me kind of a Killian Back to Black. Mm. Minus the powderiness, because I know that one has a lot of powderiness going on. Yeah. And more of the tobacco. God, what, what is this called again? Uh, the Oud Affair. Fuck. Yeah, I... As soon as I heard Oud Affair... You're speechless. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I didn't... I would never have thought that yeah. it would go this way. And again, with the variety that they have in their line, fucking blows my mind. Like, I could not imagine going from Purple Fig... Right, to, exactly. To, to Dear Polly, to oud affair and fucking smoke show oh very my versatile God. house they, they can do they can do dark they scents can do fucking anything fresh they really can fruity they, they can do anything i'm fucking yeah oh my god yeah, man, it's a good house smoke show is like smoke show is fucking fire as <laughs> shit no pun intended <laughs> yeah that is so good <clears throat> yeah I, I mean honestly the, the I mean, just between the three of them, that they're so different from each other, yet they all, yeah, they still have that DNA. Right, right. That, that whatever their uh, and when and when we say that, was, when know. we say that, we don't mean they smell alike at all. Yeah, they're no, completely different fragrances. It, 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 they have the same DNA in the way in the way that uh, like a Roja, or right, a, right, um, right, right, or Zerjoff has that 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 vibe. It's like when you smell a Zerjoff, you're like. This is a Zerja. You can't explain it, but when you've been around, you've smelled different things. You can just you can just get the DNA. Yeah, correct. And yeah, this definitely has a very unique DNA that I, I, I just I haven't smelled. Yeah, bad DNA in anything else. And again, it's a it, it, it's just it's difficult to even describe it. That's why I'm pulling from these different things, like oh yeah, right. you know, tobacco vanilla e or whatever. But but really, they they smell fucking unique as shit and it's not even like the house just came out they've been around since 2015 now so four wow. years now but yeah i mean i think they deserve a lot more praise and i would fucking i would actually say that if i had to pick between tobacco vanille and and uh Oud affair Oud i would i would go with Oud affair yeah. i'm not knocking you down uh, if i had to pick between fig man and uh what is this one again um dirty velvet dirty velvet it, it's got that stank it's got <laughs> it's got the, the vetiver is dirty it is dirty it is a dirty vetiver kind it's very of, rooty very rooty it it, it it starts to remind me a little bit of terre d'hermes in its dirtiness but no orange, but, but no orange, right? So, so it doesn't give it that like armpit fucking. It's not that right. armpit veteran, that cumin or armpit veteran, no. But and, but then I think that's where it, it, that's so masterful that they mix in the fig, right? Because right. it, it, I feel like the fig is smell like good? it smells fucking great with the veteran. Oh right? yeah, the fig's really coming through now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is good. I would probably. I, I mean, a, a fig man is. Maybe a big decant. It's kind of unimpressive. So I, I would I would pick this over that. It's so much more unique. And uh Yeah, fucking smoke show, dude. That is that smells so different. Yeah, dude. Can so I, fucking see. different. Oh yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, bro. no, it's, it's, it's like, like, like try to think of it like try to try to compare it to something. Let me smell again. <laughs> I can't even think of anything to compare. No, I can't. I can't. I, I it's just its own fucking I just had thing. a fucking brain fart trying to think yeah. of something, bro. <laughs> like the Tesla. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, there was, a, there was a dude trying to flex with his Tesla. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to stand outside and, and, and have it come and, and pick, pick me up, me up <laughs> with my wife. And dude, it ended up stalling halfway <laughs> to them, and they just had to walk to the car. <laughs> but the walk of shame while we were staring at them was like, <laughs> it was priceless. amazing. It was so good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, dude. Thank you so much for awesome. for giving me these. These are fucking amazing. So you know, I gotta ask you if you had to pick yeah. one out of the three, which one would you Smoke pick? Show. Smoke show winner, dead winner. One hundred percent. It's so unique and it's so good, and, and it like smells like nothing in my collection. I, I doubt it smells like anything in your collection. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> unless somebody out of like. Sergio Moma was like watching and he's like oh, I got I got something here you know uh, fucking pepperoni lonia or whatever the yeah, fuck right. he has. <laughs> maybe some he has something in there that smells pepperoni like pepperoni extreme right, <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, but yeah no I, I think 
yeah, fuck. I, I got to get my hands on some show. So, hey, Sassy Sense here with a follow up. So, uh, so it's been about an hour and a half or so, almost two hours, actually. And, um, and I've let the Wilhelm uh, perfumery, different ones that we were looking at there. Uh, I think it was Oud Affair, um, Dirty Velvet here, and uh, my favorite by far, Smoke Show. Um, so I've given them the opportunity to kind of develop a little bit more on my skin, just to just to come out with you know which one is more. Um, I guess I just wanted to see what direction they actually went in, and um, I have to be honest. As much as I love Smoke Show, it really did dying down. It does, it, it's really getting to that skin scent point. Um, now something interesting about their Dirty Velvet, rather, is it actually got better over time. Um, it went from being uh, my, probably my least, I mean, I, I technically is still my least favorite of the three, but there's something really good about this. It, it, it's, again, the notes are so realistic that I think, I don't know, something just sells me on it. I, I really dig um, that velvet thing. So like if you wanted something, I, man, I don't even know why the hell I, 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 my mind keeps going there and I keep trying to stop myself from saying it, but Invictus Aqua 2016 comes to mind, but just none of the sweetness and instead, you know, like the salty nature of it, right? So, um, I don't know, it's like a really good version of that in a weird way. I, but in any case, I mean, it's, um, I, I can't, I can't really compare the two, but uh, what I'm trying to say is that, um, it's just really good shit, the, uh, the Dirty Velvet, but, uh, definitely if you're not, like, like it opens very unique, uh, that middle area is when it gets that Terre d'Hermes thing going on, but into the dry down, it's just this very realistic salt and vetiver, it's really good i really dig it for what it is it's 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 very classy um now this one this is um oud affair so oud affair does actually i hadn't I, I didn't think of it at the time when i was uh, filming the first impression but 1821 man-made this is like an ultra niche version of that. Um, I would say that man-made is probably a better alternative than tobacco bunny if you were trying to get something with a similar vibe. But um, yeah, this is this is really good stuff. It, it really is tobacco honey, <laughs> as Connor was saying. So. I, I would, I think if you want that, I think this is, this one's definitely more mass appealing. This one is like, you could wear this and somebody would just be like, damn, yeah, that smells good. It smells good shit, like in the air, you know? Um, I feel like Dirty Velvet would be more of something you would dress up with. Um, falls into that gray vetiver and Terre d'Hermes and, um, just classier sense. I know I mentioned 2016 and in Invictus Aqua, but it's just like the, the saltiness that it has. And um, it's like, if it had, if Invictus Aqua had this type of salt in it, oof, that'd be a fucking amazing frag. Um, but I hope I'm, I'm making myself uh, understood in that way that they're not similar it's just the vibe is there like it's it's just honestly that this, this one is pretty unique the um, dirty velvet so um 
But yeah, Smoke Show, the only thing that's disappointing me about it is just that it's it's not lasting. I like it's it smells delicious. It's fucking amazing and it, it really really uh, jumps off of your skin when you initially spray it. But yeah, about half hour in, it's not very detectable or, or not as detectable. And um, I mean, yeah, hour and a half in, almost two hours in that we are at now, it's it's really is it's it's almost the skin scent. Um, so of the three, if you want projection power and uh, something much more mass appealing, uh, definitely go with uh, Uda Fair. Not what you think it's gonna. The naming it doesn't match what it ends up smelling. It smells really fucking good. Um, then uh, Dirty Velvet, again, classier fragrance, very unique, very uh, realist, photorealistic salt, and like, almost like dirty sand, uh, or not dirty sand, I get like wet sand, you know, wet sand smell, but with fig and vetiver, really very interesting fragrance. And uh, Smoke Show is, man, Smoke Show is just, the, that one, I would probably say, just don't even, don't even wait for a fucking sale. Like, if you're gonna get a sample, get it from CR Sense. But, uh, yeah, that, I mean, this is, I'm just buying it. Like, I, I literally already put in, uh, <laughs> checking with somebody to see if I can, uh, get my order in there. So, um, yeah, this is good shit. So, wherever you can find it, I mean, maybe even on CR Sense, I don't know if he has, uh, bottles of Wilhelm, he may, but, um, you know, you can sample it from him, see if it's something that works for you, if you like that DNA, and then, yeah, and then just start scouring the net. Uh, I know there's a few places, you know, where you can get it significantly below retail, um, you know, so if you're paying more than 200 bucks for one of these, that's, that's probably too much. I mean, if you can get them somewhere from, like, 150-ish or something, 150s, 160-ish, then I think you're doing pretty good. Um, but occasionally, you know, you find a deal on there or in the fragrance groups on Facebook, sometimes you can you find them for a little bit cheaper. But, um, but yeah, this is good stuff. This house really blew me away and I'm looking forward to trying more of them. So. All right, well, that was my first impression. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, but yeah, no, please go check out CR Sense. Um, and then uh, there's also CR Sense on Instagram. You can go follow him there. Uh, there he posts pictures and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and please follow me and join the uh, Sassy Sense uh, meme colony where uh, you can get uh, um, news, uh, reviews, se sexy uh, memes. D uh, Pete, is it? There's dicks there, right? There is dicks there. All right. Thank you so much for uh, joining us and for uh, doing this fucking 27-minute first impression. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Time flew. Time God, damn. Flew. God damn. Dude. All right, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thanks for having yeah. me. And I, no, I no appreciate problem. you guys checking me out. Any, no problem, any, even just a view of my website, I'd greatly appreciate it. It means a lot. Yeah. I worked. No problem, dude. Uh, it's, been a, it's been in the making, so. That's good. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been working on it for a long time. Um, 